Hey everyone, my name is Danielle and thank you for coming to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about your most beautiful you. Um, my most beautiful me is when I'm able to do my makeup and my hair and feel beautiful. Um, I have a skin condition that's not treatable. So anytime I can find a makeup that covers that and makes me feel beautiful, I'm absolutely in love. Um, the one product that I have found that has absolutely made me feel the most beautiful ever would be the IT Cosmetics CC Cream Full Coverage Cream. And that product I have on now. Um, and I'm going to show you my routine for it in just a second. Um, but it covers like all of my imperfections that I like to hide. So that makes me feel very beautiful. I suffered in high school and even into adulthood of people making fun of me um, and stuff like that. So I took on the whole aspect of learning how to do my makeup to make me feel more beautiful. And I've really fell in love with this, you know, and I love showing everyone how to do makeup, how I do my makeup. I mean, everybody does their makeup differently. So everybody's not gonna do it the same way as me. Um, but if I can help anyone with some tips or, you know, products that, you know, they may be thinking about buying and they can go to my channel and see that I've used it and what I thought about it, then I've done my job. Um, the IT Cosmetics cream that I use for full foundation, um, it has an SPF of 50. It's also got anti-aging serum in it, which I absolutely love because we all want to look younger, don't we? Um, and I get compliments all the time when I'm wearing this makeup. I can go out and people will think that I'm underage. <laughs> um, I am 31, or I will be Sunday. Um, I'm turning 31 and people will think that I'm like 18, 19. So that's really beautiful to me because I want to keep the young look about me. So that would be my most beautiful me is the products that hide my imperfections and hide my age, I guess you would say. Um, but the main thing is hiding my skin condition and it cosmetics uh, CC cream absolutely does that for me y'all can see from you know it and y'all will see when I'm showing you my routine the before I have I have sunspots I have age spots I have you know different textures in my skin when I put that on I look flawless I you know I'm not trying to brag and say I'm perfect because I'm by no means perfect at all um, I do have you know other issues that I can't fix right now and makeup won't cover up but that's a whole nother area um, but yes I wanted to show y'all my makeup routine or my foundation routine and it's with the CC cream and some other products that I'm going to be using um, but please go over to IT Cosmetics and check out the CC cream because it is really 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 wonderful you will not regret it um, I'm absolutely in love with this product and I try to do reviews of it of a lot of products but by far the best one I've come across is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Absolutely in love with it and I hope you guys enjoy it too if you go out and try it but let's get on to the routine of how I do my beautiful me and I hope you guys can find your most beautiful you because that is important to feel beautiful not only on the outside but when you feel beautiful on the outside then you're more beautiful on the inside because you your inside reflects what you feel outside if you know what I'm saying but um it does for me anyway but I know I'm rambling so you guys um, thank you so much for coming to my channel and thank you again for if you've subscribed to me I really appreciate that I really love all of my fans and my viewers I love you all um, but yes let's get on and I will 
show you the routine of my It Cosmetics CC Cream. Okay guys, so to start our foundation routine, or to start my foundation routine, what I do first is pull my hair back out of the way, because we don't want no products getting on our hair. So I do that, and then what I do is I spray my face with some setting spray, so that'll help the makeup stay on. Spray, like so. We let that dry a little bit. And then I take my primer. It, this one is a stay matte primer, so it helps your makeup stay matte. I just take that. I'm almost out, so. Just a little bit. Now I put it on my fingers and I just dab it into my skin. You want to really push it in there. Especially in your problem areas, which mine is mostly like along my nose and right through these areas, is where my pores show the most. So I really just get it in that area really good. And I just work it out the rest of the way. You always want to pull up because you want to pull your face up. Because aging and years bring it down, we want to push up. So yeah, we get that all over. And yes, my eyes and my eyebrows are already done. This is mainly a foundation routine video because my foundation is what makes me feel beautiful because it covers my imperfections that I don't like. So today we are gonna be using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which is color correcting cream. Um, the full coverage cream which really helps with all of my skin conditions that I have it really helps cover that up and that's why I absolutely love this product um, it also has anti-aging hydrating serum in it and it has an SPF of 50 so it's really 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 good for your skin so what I do and it's in the shade medium what I do is I just take some and put it on the back of my hand like so, like so, and then I get my stippling brush, and I just take a little bit on the, my stippling brush, and just start packing it into my face, like so, because you really want to push it in there, I'm not swirling, I'm doing this pushing it in and we just keep put, applying it to the whole face and just pushing it in like so and just push it in there I'm going to need to get a little more on my hand because this is one trick that I absolutely love because a lot of my imperfections is down here in order to make it your skin tone match you know you want to go down your neck so it's not so noticeable and so dramatically different than your neck so you want to just take that on down your neck area and carry it on down onto your chest a little bit if you want if, especially if you're wearing like a low cut shirt kind of like I'm wearing I don't want that dramatic line to be there so I just carry it on down so once we have that done which is looking pretty good. So yeah. See, 
once I put on that CC cream from It Cosmetics, my imperfections are completely covered. And that makes me feel beyond beautiful because I have a skin condition that's not treatable with medications. Um, believe me, before I found out about my skin condition, I had tried everything on the market, could not find anything at all to work. So, um, when I went to the dermatologist, they told me I had a rare skin condition that could not be treated with medication and that I would have to either live with it or have each one of them cut out, which I've been working on. So, the IT Cosmetics CC Cream really, 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 really makes me feel beautiful because it covers all that up where it's not at all hardly noticeable. I mean, unless you're right up on me, you're not going to see it. And this blends very well and it feels really lightweight and it co it's full coverage. It covers really, really well. I absolutely love, love, love this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Love it. Um, um, I know I've only got this little thing right now, so hopefully I'm going to get more soon, hopefully. Um, I'm going to have to go buy me some. And yeah, so I'm very sparing with what I have right now. But yeah, let's finish our makeup. So after I do that, of course, I go to the concealer. Conceal my under eye area, mostly. So I just put this on here. And a good trick is to put it like right up under your eyeliner. So it gives it that really dramatic cut look. And I always do like a kind of a triangle shape, I guess you would call it. Yeah, a little bit on the cupid's bow of my upper lip to highlight that area. And then down the nose. Because I have a really wide nose. And when you do your nose contouring, you can make your nose look a little more a slimmer nose, I guess that was what you would call it. <laughs> slimmer nose. And yeah, I just do it right on my forehead, like so. And then right down here. Yeah. So let's blend that in. For that, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender. Damp Beauty Blender. And Pack that in really well. And look up so you can get it even better up under your eye. And that's another reason I love that foundation because when I do my concealer and everything, it blends so, so well, so well. I love it. And hopefully before long, I can, I'll be able to wear all it cosmetic brand stuff because I really love the brand so we do that blend it all in and I'm just dabbing I'm not rubbing I'm dabbing like so What I like to do is, I like to take my powder and just kind of set that in. Try looking up, that way I don't crease on you. But sometimes my under eyes, they're puffy, so they do crease anyway. So, yeah. It just sets that concealer in when you use the powder on it. And then we're gonna do our contour. Which I don't use a heavy, heavy contour, but I do a slot one. Some people think I do it heavy, but I don't think it's that heavy. Like so. And you always want to find that cheekbone and put your contour right below it, kind of right on it. Like so. Make sure you get them evened out so they fit the same. Just 
Sometimes it doesn't look like it's showing up very much, so I just go back and get a little bit more just to put in there, like so. And then what I do is I just take a little bit of my bronzer and go around my jawbone, my jawline, just to make it more pronounced. Like so. Like so. And then what I do is I take my setting powder. <clears throat> I just take my setting powder and go over my whole face. Just set that in. Just blend, blend, blend. Just set that like so and then what we do after I do that I take a little bit of blush actually on the apples of the cheeks And then what I do is my lips and another tip about if you want to make your lips look bigger just go over just overline them at the top but make sure you follow your natural lip line on the sides and then I take just a um, regular lipstick that I love it's like a berry And then after the berry, I take this uh, lip tint, it's a matte lip tint, and go over that. Like so. So I think that looks very beautiful, that color. I absolutely love that color, it's one of my favorite colors. So then, so that is our look, and this is what makes me feel beautiful. Um, the main thing that makes me feel beautiful is the foundation that I use today, which is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And it's the full coverage cream, and it makes me feel beautiful because it covers all those imperfections I was talking about, and that's that is the one of the most important things to me is finding something that helps hide what makes me not feel beautiful so after i am able to hide that then i feel beautiful and i absolutely love that foundation so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope some of the information that i shared with you will help you in finding the most beautiful you and the most important thing is just remember that you are beautiful no matter what. Um, makeup really helps us feel beautiful every day. I know it does for me. Um, there's not very many times that I will walk out of the house without wearing at least a little makeup. So that is the thing that makes me feel the most beautiful. And I really hope you enjoyed this. And remember to go to it cosmetics and get you some of that cc cream because it is it's wonderful i absolutely absolutely love it and i'm working on buying me some more now so yeah go check them out and the link will be down below and hope you guys have a great day and love you guys see you later